praise the Lord. Romans 1 verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. I would like you to read it one more time. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed. Praise the Lord. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. And as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Verse 17. I want to just consider that and to discover from there, you discover that faith is a way of life. Praise the Lord. Faith is what? It's a faith of life. It's a way of life. The just shall live by faith. And who is the just? The just is the redeemed. That is saved. The one that has received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Those who believe that Jesus came for their sin and he has paid the price of it and have reconciled them back to God. Say, they shall live by faith. Viewed from faith to faith. From faith for faith. Another version say, from faith for faith. For in the gospel, the righteousness which God is, has crap is revealed. Both springing from faith and leading to faith. Praise the Lord. Leading to faith. So a life of a believer is encircled in, in faith. Faith is a way of life. Oh, the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. You can't please him. Because he has made it your pattern of life, your style of living. It's a way of life and a style of living. Two things. It's a way of life and a way of living. Now, you cannot live outside of faith and you please God. You cannot live outside of, of faith and you have a successful life. Because God is pleased with only those who live by faith. His righteousness is true faith. Faith is a way of life. The just shall live. So if you don't have faith in God's word, and what is faith? Faith is right standing with God. So anyone who is not operating in faith will have a wrong standing with God. He's on the left side of God. He does have a right standing. That when God says something, he means it. And what he means is what he says. God will never promise what he will not do. He has the capacity, he has the ability to do all things. He's the omnipotent God. There's nothing that is impossible with him. He says what he will do. And what he will do, he has already spoken. 
There's nothing new that God will speak. There's nothing new that is left for God to create. There's none of your needs on the surface of the earth that is not existing already on the earth. Amen. Did you believe that? Tell me something that you need that is not yet ready on the earth. Tell me something. That, that is not available. There's no provision for it. God say you can take those things by faith. You can possess your possession by faith. You can take territory by faith. By faith they took territory. Amen. Read Hebrew 11 by faith. By faith, even old women, even women have their husband restored back to life. By faith. Some of us we have spouses that are dead to sin. And all we do is complain. We never put our faith down on their behalf. Oh God, my husband must not go to hell. He must know you and we must serve you together. Or my wife must know you. My wife must love you. By faith, the women get their husband what? Restore back to life. So there's nothing you cannot get back by faith. You can get money through faith. You can gain admission through faith. You can have breakthrough through faith. You can have husband through faith. You can have wife through faith. You can have advancement through faith. You can have property through faith. Everything. Faith is a way of life and is a style of living for believers. And there's no way a believer will make a, source, a success of his work, a success of his faith, if he does not have faith. Faith is a way of living. Without it, we cannot please God. It takes faith to believe that according to the book of 1 John, 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, for whatsoever is born of God overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. What is it that overcome the world? The word there represents Satan and everything that Satan represents. Amen. The word remains opposition, antagonism, demonic forces, occultic forces, powers of darkness, power that exists and say you never advance. It's called the word. Because the word in the word, the Bible says, you find wickedness. And the Bible says, this is what overcomes the world. It is our faith. It is not you. Some of us try to overcome the world by ourselves, by our size, by our influence, by our connection. No, but that is wrong. This is what it what overcome the world, even our faith. Praise the Lord. So it takes faith. The devil has no respect for any natural man. The devil is a spirit. And the battle is a battle of spirit versus spirit. Do you know that the demon is a, is, a, is a spirit? So that the demon say, you foul spirit. Jesus cast out. Say, you foul spirit. You spirit of palsy. Are you getting right? So every problem disturbing someone, challenging someone, is a spirit. Amen. And the Bible says, this is the confidence that we have. Whatsoever. In other translations, it says, whosoever. Or everyone that has been born of God. According to NLT. Yeah, whatsoever. This is King James. Give me another translation. NLT will tell you, whosoever. ESV will say, everyone that has been born of God. Are you getting me right? So it's referring to people. Because whatever I've not so got what I'm looking for. NIV, NLT, ESV. ESV will tell you everyone that has been born of God. That's what you say there. Everyone. Person overcome the world. So everyone that are born of God overcome the world. And this is the victory that made him overcome. Say, this is the victory that made him overcome our faith. So it's faith that overcomes. It's your faith that overcomes. So there's something called an overcoming faith. It is faith that overcomes. And we get to know 
That is why faith is very important in the life of a believer. Faith is very important. Faith overcomes. And Jesus said, if any one of you has faith like this mustard seed, as small as this mustard seed, and speak to this mountain, be thou removed, it will be removed. Faith that overcomes. Everyone that has been born of God already has a measure of faith. That's what the Bible says. Every whosoever is born of God overcome. Now, if you overcome and you overcome by faith, then means that brother or sister that looks like a weakling has some level of faith. All he needs to do, all she needs to do, all you need to do is to put your faith to work. Activate it. Acting on the word of God. When there's a prompting of the spirit, you begin to do what the spirit is laying on your heart. That is faith. Praise God. That is faith. It's your faith that overcomes. It is faith. So your thinking natural sense and your spiritual thinking more, can never move together. Human senses and faith cannot operate together. Imagining God want to bless someone and he say kill your son. Who will do it? Praise God. Who will do it? Say, ah, this one that I waited for 25 years. 25 years from the time God called him. Oh, he was not a 25 year old man. Oh. He was to get this. Five years. You say, oh, I still have a lot of energy. Amen. And after 25, God, said, God did not say anything he will ask for. And that boy had grown above 17 years. Imagine the gap. He woke up a day. Take this, take the child. Go and offer him a son. Interacted with is dependable. It is good of me. I'll do it. Story of uh, this young man, Jephthah. The daughter said, Is that the decision? I am ready. I know you are this your God. Anything can call. And God now says, Now I know. Now. I know that you love me. Abraham had always loved God. But God wanted to see if his action will match with the wall from his mouth. It is faith for those little boys to bring out their fish and their cake in the crusade of Jesus. Peter, is there anything to give to these people? They have stayed here three days. And now they are going. If they don't eat, they may faint. They had fasted. They had a fasting meeting for three days. Church. Will they declare one day fasting? Jesus had a fasting crusade for three days. He said they have been here three days. If they don't eat, they may fall. They may faint on the way. Three days. There were women, there were children, there were men. And those women say, we have. And know some adult heart. They pinch themselves. So guy, this crowd, wait now go eat. 
innocent faith of children. Sir, the one my mother packed for me in my lunch box, they say, say, call them. Only two. Here, so sleep and stage, bring them. And 12 baskets remain. I wonder whom they will give it to by natural sense of justice. You don't show them. Take them back for your mom. Praise the Lord. It is faith that overcome. So you must have faith. You must have faith for healing. You must have faith for promotion. You must have faith for safety. You must believe that even the whole world is collapsing. I will survive. The type of faith that Job had, that Job said, Job say, I will, I will wait. No, no, no. No. Praise the Lord. Job say he knows his redeemer living. Job say that his own change will come. Job say when men say there is a falling, when there is a casting, that's what he said. That, that will hardly listen to what I'm saying. Say even when men say there's what? There's a casting down. What will he say? What will he say? I will say there's a lifting. Are you hearing that? Because we don't operate at the same level. I operate on the pedestal of faith. I know whom I trust. Maritima, live it. He won't see me perish. He won't see my life sink down. He will not see my business closing. He will not see cancer destroy my breast, my loins, my everything. He will not see my liver collapsing. He will not see my heart failing. Why? I know. Magidima, live it. Oh, this is the person that all his body, in quote, was rotting. Is somebody with me? And he was still speaking faith. We know that his body was full of sores. As well, I even asked, oh, insult God, let him kill you now. He had lost everything he had. And that man looked to his wife, to the face of his wife, and to his friends. He said, all you are saying, you don't know something. I know my Redeemer live it. And I wait on him at what happened until my change comes until this flesh becomes beautiful again. Faith. What overcomes the world? It's faith. It's not you. It's not eloquency. It's not religiosity. Is how much you genuinely believe that God's word is true and it will work. And then you act. Anywhere Jesus performed healing, anywhere there was healing in the scripture, the people took step. Imagine that woman with the issue of blood. It's not enough to believe. You must act to get a result. Is somebody with me? He said, if only I must touch the hem of his garment. If only. If only. That is a belief. But if she had not run to Jesus to touch the hem of Jesus' garment, would she would have been healed? No. Act what you believe. Act that which you believe. Praise the Lord. Act and anyone who cannot act on the word of God does not believe God. Praise God. And to every aspect of life, to move forward, there's faith for it. There's no amount of prayer that can make somebody a millionaire. No amount of prayer. There's a principle. Give. It shall be given to you. Good measure. Running over. Shall what happen? Shall men give to you? Give. So if you don't give, don't expect to receive. And church, don't make yourself a, a receiving candidate. Did you hear that? 
don't designate yourself. You know, I'm supposed to receive. That's a poverty mentality. And as a man thinketh in his heart, so is. So you, you get to snack shop with your friend, and there's money in your pocket, in your purse. When you, pick, you are looking, for, you, you are delaying. In fact, you pick all. I see someone is calling you so that he can pay. He's promoting himself above you. Because the heaven is seen. You have said, I can't pay. I don't have. As a man, think it is hard. So he is. Change your mentality. If you can't pay tight or 20,000, how can you pay tight or 200,000? In my journey, in my experience as a pastor, I've seen people had committed title when their salary is 1,000 a month. Committed. Office day, service day. But when God start promote them 10, 20, 30, 40, that would end. Do you know? The 10% of that amount become too much. And you say, God, elevate me. And you don't know the God can take you to a place that can be collecting salary in dollars. There are people collecting five thousand to ten thousand dollars every month. Not because of subject to one favor, what they can do, ten thousand. So how will you how will you pay a tithe or one thousand naira every month? You won't pay because you can't pay twenty or thirty. You can't give offering of fifteen naira. Your offering is still 15 naira in the 21st century. You can't go from the 500 naira. That there's faith for prosperity. There's faith for prosperity. Praise God. One giving gave me about seven houses. One giving. Not as a pastor, so that I've not seen. Most of the houses I have, God has blessed me with before I became a pastor. I can count them. Oh. Amen. Let me not call the, the number. And what was it? 10,000 naira giving. After my whole weight on the earth of 30,000. Not 30,000 that there is lax, no. 30,000 with a bill of over 120 or 200,000 on my hand to pay. I wanted to marry. And he said they are very, very expensive for me more. And my friend has started believing, saying, hey, it's Sunday now. He said, you could his eye. No, where will he get money to go and marry Ibo? Where will he get? I see, I know. You, the way you tell me to marry, won't you advise us, eh? Ah, places are very nice. So they give you wife free. You don't pay so much. They say, what's wrong with you? Who won't help you. They were telling me. Bill on my hand. List. I've gone collected list. Which amount? Three months. And the pastor is there on the altar. You want to build house of God. Give. So I, I signed 2000. Oh, let me not tell you lies. I signed what? But I was connected to heaven. The heaven said no. I said, ah. The pastor had left there long, long ago. No. So I, I made it. I was very careful. Take it. I had no. But I must obey. I know when God said. Five. No. Seven. No. I said, ah. I became agitated. But I must do what he wanted me to do. I had alright. I sent them. So I had 20,000. The rest is a story. And then from that meeting, the Lord said to me, I'll teach you how to build.
calculate the blocks of that particular room, it was less than 200. Eh? Calculate the four bedroom flat. Eleven thousand said to them, put my money in my box, gave my in laws the one I wanted to go, and return. It takes faith to advance. In his or her heart, that I'm partaking of the table of blessing, not curses. That tonight I'm part. This is something spectacular. Blessing flow to you. Another thing is to allow the blessing to flow through you. You get it right? Blessing will flow to you. Blessing will also do what? Flow to So you make yourself a vessel. A vessel of God's blessing. You are the one that show forth the praises of him. Who has redeemed you, delivered from the power of darkness and translated to the kingdom of his death all. That may show forth his praises by his blessing that is flowing through you. And I pray, I pray tonight, I believe God said that this is a table of blessing. And I command tonight, you are departing this place with the blessings of God confirmed in your life. With the blessings of God confirmed. to be rich. His blessing makes someone to be rich and it will not accompany sorrow. I pray tonight God's blessing upon your life will not come with sorrow. It will come with sickness. It will come with death. It will come with losses. It will come with stagnation. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is the victory that overcome the world. Even our faith Hold to your faith initially in the name of Jesus. And as he's commanded, as the Lord commanded, say this is a table of blessing. I administer it accordingly as a table of blessing, not an instrument of death. Wherever anything is going wrong in your life, in your health, as you partake of this, healing comes. Healing comes. Healing comes. Healing comes. Favor comes. Breakthrough will come. Breakthrough will come. Excellence will come. In the name of Jesus. Favor with God, amen. Favor with God, God, amen. You burst out forth on every side. You break forth on every side. You break forth on every side. 
You break forth on every side. You break forth on every side. In the name of Jesus, no sorrow is attached. His blessing, he make it rich and add no sorrow. There's no sorrow in your life. In Jesus, precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Pass it around.